everyone, Violet here. Um, today I'm going to show you how to make candles. Um, I have a huge bulk thing of um, soy wax flakes, which I use. So I make candles all natural using um, just soy wax and essential oils and sometimes a little bit of vegan dye to add some color. Um, so I'll show you what I'm doing and I'll, I'll link down below what I use uh, for the dye in case you're curious. And let's get started. Um, so today I'm planning to only make like one or two votive candles, which are a smaller size. So I'm not gonna put too many uh, flakes of soy wax in here, um, just a little bit. And I'm going to turn the stove on medium. This is my candle pourer thing. <laughs> Um, so that's the first step is just going to be to melt them down. So I'll go ahead and pour some in and then start the stove top. All right, so I probably put in about uh, two cups or so. Um, I might have some extra, but what I do is I, I don't actually mix up the dye and the essential oils in this. If I have extra wax at the bottom, I just let it um, harden, and then the next time it'll melt in with the other wax. So all that goes in here is just the plain soy flakes, and that's how I do it. All right, I've set the stove top on medium, and um, be sure to be safe. Don't leave anything hot without supervision, um, but we'll be right back when this goes ahead and melts. So as you can see, the soy wax is now melted. Definitely melts down quite a bit. Um, so I'm gonna turn the heat way down. I'm actually gonna take the heat off, move it off of the heat, and uh, we're gonna wait for it to cool a little bit. Okay, so I have let the wax cool. I actually have this um, candle thermometer, which lets me know. It's got a colored marking for what temperature it needs to be below so that you can add your dyes and essential oils. And it has reached that temperature, so we're gonna go ahead and make the candle. Um, so I've got this votive glass. It's actually very, very used. Um, I keep refilling it, and how I do that, I should have shown it on <laughs> camera but basically I put the other candle whatever's left of it the tiny bit at the bottom I put it in the freezer I let it freeze and then it just pops right out really easily so that's what I do and now we're going to add our color and our essential oils and our wax and our wick okay so I am going to be making a red candle so I'm using this red candle dye and it only takes a couple drops like I said I'll put in the description the type of dye that I use so we're gonna go ahead and put in about three or four drops let's do four okay so I'm going to just use one essential oil today I'm going to use uh, one by my favorite company Mountain Rose Herbs. I love their essential oils because they're all organic and fair trade and I think very reasonably priced. So that's where I get my oils from and I am using Western Red Cedar. So we're gonna have a very like grounding tree-like smell and I'm gonna put about 15 drops in here. I find that I was just using cotton wicks and in the heat of the candle it would sort of um, slump and make it not totally straight, not totally in the center throughout the candle. So I am going to go ahead and 
cut this to the right size. I do get them tabbed for when I make bigger candles. Um, it's helpful to glue that to the bottom of the candle and make sure it stays in the center. Um, less necessary for these small votive candles. So I'm gonna go ahead and cut this to the right size. You just need a little bit above the wax. So I'm adding this twisty tie to it to help hold it in place. Let's go ahead and put it in. Okay, I need it a little shorter. That's so it's not top heavy. All right, so I'm gonna go ahead and set it in and then make sure it's centered. All right, so as it cools, when it's a little bit cooler, I'm going to make sure that the um, wick is still centered. But I don't want to do that too much because I don't want to mess with the like surface tension of the wax itself. So let's see how it turns out when it cools. And ta-da! Here is my finished candle burning away. So I actually do make more candles in my Etsy shop, Moonlay Studio. I've got a link down below and I hope that you will check them out. I've got candles in teacups and vintage glasses with the herbs and essential oils. Anyway, I hope that you have a lovely day and good luck in your own candle making or candle buying. I definitely suggest going for soy wax candles because they burn slowly, they um, are non-toxic, and of course they're vegan. So um, I will see you next time. Thank you so much for watching this video. Please like it if you do and subscribe to the channel because I'm a brand new channel. It definitely helps me out. All right. Thank you. Bye.